So this month for August, the full moon is the sturgeon moon. So the sturgeon moon is named after the giant sturgeon that is located in the Great Lakes. And this is about the time that they would be harvested. And so that's why the main name is the sturgeon moon. So there's a few unique things about this particular sturgeon moon. So August 19th is going to be at its peak. And it's not only a full moon, but it's a blue moon and it's a super moon. Wow. And the interesting thing about this is that the seasonal blue moon, that the next one's not going to happen until May of 2027. So this is a very unique event. So we're not going to see it for a couple more years. Now, some alternate names that they have for this moon is the great, the green corn moon, the rising moon, and then the lightning moon for the <laughs> northern in Europe. They also have it named as the harvest moon, which I know that the official name of September's moon is the harvest moon, but sometimes they have overlaps of the names as well. Now, the interesting thing about this particular super moon is that the spiritual meaning behind it is that this is a good time to reignite your inner flame. So this would be a good time to focus on what you're passionate about, what your goals are ahead, of, what you're looking to do in the long term, so that as we're going to fall, then you get further into your goals. So if you're looking at new opportunities or if you're trying to go for something new or take new risks, now is the time to go ahead and do it. And the... And this moon is set in the sign of Aquarius. And the good thing for this moon is that it's a good time to be optimistic, to take risk. And the sturgeon itself signifies strength and resilience. And Kimmy, you're going to go ahead and lead us in the, the yeah. meditation. So. Yes. All right. Uh, everyone, close your eyes. Imagine you are swimming along the waters of the Great Lakes. You are one with the lake. Think what goals you would like to achieve. and what you are going to achieve and how you're going to achieve those steps. And going into fall. Each step to your goal is like the swishing of a tail fin. Back and going back and forth, you are determined to embrace all the energy and courage of those who have gone before you. Pause for a moment. Feel the ebb and flow of the waters around you. What motivates you? You swim faster and faster towards your goal. Faster and faster, water swirls around you. As you swim, turning left and right, you keep swimming as you feel the warmth of the water trans transcend your very being. At long last, you come to what you have been looking for. Take a moment to pause and reflect and take in what you see, noting any words of wisdom you can take back with you. Now, 
it is time to return to the land. You thank the ocean and the sturgeon moon for its wisdom and knowledge. As you readjust back to earth, you can open your eyes when you are. Thank you. 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 Thank you.